spoken to you in probably 20 years <laughs> um, I've been focusing on other kinds of videos lately as you might have noticed videos that take place in my sketchbook some color exploration and things as such but now I'm painting this painting and I wanted to film the process and I felt like talking to you a little bit so what I was thinking is that in the past few months, I filmed some clips here and there that I did nothing with. So I thought I could do an art vlog with all of this footage, this footage that had no purpose before. I went to the park with some friends last week, I think, and we had a painting session at the park. So I decided to get inspired from the landscape there and I painted this painting. I did not paint the whole thing there. I painted the first layer there and then I finished it here. But I'm not that satisfied with this painting, I have to say. I like it, but it's not the style I was looking for. I don't I don't want to paint realistically. I want to be looser. I feel like this is not loose. See, that's not loose. I decided to start again. I decided to paint on a bigger canvas and use bigger brushes and just be looser. Also, I'm not so sure about these colors. I feel like this is not stylized enough. Like there are some parts that I really like. I like this bottom part right here, but I feel like these trees are a bit unfinished and I don't really want to finish them. So here we are, we're working on this. Oh, and first, before I did this painting, I drew this quick sketch. Then I painted this one, and now I'm, I'm painting that one. So I take the sketch to the wall, I put this painting on top here. I love this water. It really looks like water. I don't know why, I feel maybe it's the transparency, the fact that we see through, we see the underpainting. It looks like a reflection of the sky and I love it so much. And now I'm thinking of the rest of the painting. I'm thinking about values. I know that the stuff that is farther away needs to be paler. And I think it can be colder than the stuff that is in the foreground. There's gonna be a bush here and two bushes here that are partly in the shadow. Well, yeah, they're in the shade. So these are going to be darker. So more contrast right here. So I'm thinking about that. I think I'm going to work on three different values of similar hues. I was thinking about using uh, burnt sienna. I also have red oxide that I really like. So maybe I'm gonna do a mix of the two. And I have this unbleached titanium, which is kind of a beige. So I think these three colors could create a good mix. And I'm, I would work on the first layer, trying to keep it very loose again. I have this yellow ochre as well that I like. I think it could be pretty with that blue, gray, green color that I have going on in the sky and water. 
Um, what else? Today is bread day. Pretty much every time I have two days off in a row, I'm baking bread. So today's bread day. I'm planning on baking four breads. I'm doing the same recipe as usual, but instead of doing two big breads, I'm going to bake four in the hopes that they're going to have a better oven spring. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, now let's paint. I'm using some retardant to have my paint stay wet longer. I love this and I love how it changes the consistency as well. A lot of my paints are thicker body paints, which in hindsight, I don't like that much. So at least I can use that to um, to change the consistency. Oh yeah, I have burnt umber as well. I'm gonna use it. I think these are the same and this one is all dried up. This paint is weird. This is not normal consistency. I cannot use this. Okay, so I have some basic mixes and I'm gonna start working.
So this is what I created in maybe two hours. Pretty good, right? Before, as you saw, there was only the sky and the water and I added all the rest. And now I'm wondering if I add more colors because this is pretty neutral. I would like maybe to add like a neutral green. Well, there's a little bit of green here already. And I'm wondering, do I glaze some parts? Maybe I could glaze a little bit of the background here so it's a bit cooler. In the reference, you could see that there were some trees here, which means that I would have added trees here, but I decided I wouldn't because I think I like a composition as it is. And in this painting, this section was my least favorite. So I think I'm just gonna make my life easier and forget about these trees. Today is the next day. I might or might not be wearing the same clothes than yesterday. Don't tell anybody. Today I have some good plans. What are my plans? I'm saying I have a lot of plans, but what are they? Not sure. I have one video that's exporting right now. Today is also the day where I'm baking the bread. Yesterday I was making the dough and everything. So, so far I have two breads that are baked, let me show them to you. This one is the grain bread, and this one is chocolate bread. You saw me also put some gesso on this huge canvas. I have an idea of what I wanna paint. It's a landscape that I took in Nova Scotia, an, a landscape picture that I would like to put on canvas. I was thinking about maybe using some oils. I want to do a bit of the same style that I did yesterday with my landscape. I really love that style, so I would like to explore it some more. I think I need to send this. I know that people send their gesso a little bit, but I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Also, another thing that I would like to do is I have some mushroom blocks on my balcony that I want to plant in my garden. I have no idea if it's gonna grow because my garden is um, it's a very sunny place and I know that mushrooms prefer the shade but it's either that or I put them in the compost so I'm gonna try it's a gloomy day today so I think it's gonna be perfect to plant some mushrooms in my garden so let's do that now I'm gonna bring you with me oh another thing I want to do is so sad but my big plant this one it's full of bugs. So I think it's dead or it's dying, but I don't want it to contaminate my other plants. I thought about maybe keeping a leaf and trying to propagate it, but I'm scared that the bugs are gonna come back. Maybe I'm gonna try, but most of it is gonna end up in compost. I always wanted to have a big plant like this, a ficus, and now it's, it's dying.
I managed, I think, to save three leaves. So we'll see if we're able to grow some roots, propagate it. And also I finished the second gesso coat on my big canvas that you saw. I also put the first coat on another big canvas. And now I wanted to play in my sketchbook a little bit. I've been watching some videos from Sandy Hester and I've been super inspired about the way that she paints landscapes using her inks. So she really like she takes her inks and she applies them directly on her paper. She mixes everything on her paper. Maybe she mixes on the side as well, but I don't know. I haven't seen that in the videos that I watched. So I kind of want to try that technique, see how it works for me. And we're going to try to paint the landscape in my sketchbook. It's almost finished. So I'm looking forward to finishing it for real and filming a sketchbook tour soon. So let's have some fun with our paints. First, I think I want to create a sketch on this page using my pastels. I'm going to try to replicate this picture. This is a landscape that I took a long time ago. So I want to work on it. So I'm going to create a sketch here. I'm going to try to come up with the basic shapes and simplify the image. I'm going to use my oil pastels from Sennelier. I want to keep it loose. I want to keep it fun. This is the perfect color. That's not good. I can't put solvent in, on there because it affects the painting on the other side. And I really like this painting, so let's keep the solvent to a minimum. That sucks though, because I was really planning on blending, but I'll blend with my finger. I feel like in this set I don't have a lot of color options so every drawing I create using this set looks the same well color wise because yeah that's there's a limited amount of mixes I can create I think Good thing that I like creating fall landscapes because I feel like these colors are good for that. But um, other than that, I feel like it's quite limited. I think we might try something like this and we'll see what we can achieve with our inks because I don't know. I don't know if we can recreate something like this. I think it took me, what, 20 minutes max? Maybe less than that. I've been super inspired by, by Sandy recently. It's a channel that I had no idea existed. I don't know how I found her. I think she was just recommended in uh, my In, on YouTube and so I checked out her channel and I love her videos they're so good I love her energy and she's so like she gets so excited by life and it's so contagious she's super inspired by like a bunch of different things most of all she plays. She loves playing in her sketchbook. She plays with colors. She plays with mediums. 
and it really made me want to play more myself and get looser which is what I'm trying to do art is supposed to be fun and she really embodies the fun of it all so thank you for existing Sandy I'm gonna link her channel below because you need to check her out you just need to I've never tried this style of acrylic uh, inks before, so I'm super happy that I'm trying it right now. I have quite a limited color range, so I feel like these colors are not completely my style i mean i would like to create maybe a more muted color palette but it's kind of difficult when i'm mixing on the paper like i'm doing right now what's that cyan and phthalo let's use a bit of phthalo i want the sky to stay quite pale so we'll see. Oh my god, that's intense. completely dry now while waiting for this to dry I might have taken a little nap so yeah maybe I could add some pencils just to see if I can add some marks Last time I filmed, I think I forgot to turn on my mic. So I talked to you for a long time and I did not record any sound. I decided that I would work on some thumbnails because I want to paint an abstract painting again. It's been a while. I want to work on painting my huge abstract watercolor, but I feel like I'm kind of rusty with this style because I haven't painted it in a while. So I want to get back to it. Long story short. So I worked on some thumbnails in my sketchbook. Here they are. And what I did was that I got inspired by my plant that you saw me cut. I kept three leaves that seem healthy and I got inspired by these leaves to create my thumbnails. So these are the leaves. I'm trying to grow roots. I decided to play with my paint. I want to use Shire Blue from Schmingi Hardem and I was thinking about adding a touch of yellow so I played with two different kinds of yellow I played with Windsor & Newton Yellow Ochre and Daniel Smith Burgundy Yellow Ochre I think I'm gonna try Windsor & Newton because it's a bit more vibrant I painted this one yesterday. I based it on one of my compositions that I showed you earlier. So now we're going to do the second layer with the plastic. 
So this is the stressful part. I've seen that this paint lifts really easily and I don't want it to lift too much. There's a quite a thick layer of paint, so I'm kind of scared that it's going to reactivate. Then again, maybe, maybe that's okay. Anyway, that's not something we can control too much, so let's just go with the flow. I finished the three paintings I was working on and I'm so happy with them. I did a different kind of mark making in which I created some lines instead of just dots. So I really like this effect. I think I'm going to use that more in the next few paintings. So this is one of the paintings that I finished. I love it very much. Super pleased with it. I also have this one. I also like it, it's a new color. I haven't used green before for this kind of painting, so I'm happy with it. And um, this one, I'm not sure which way it should go, because I feel like it looks good like this, it looks good like this, it looks good like this, it looks good in every direction. So I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I won't sign it. If somebody buys it, they, they'll be able to put it in the direction they prefer. I'm gonna sign it on the back side and yeah I'll leave it like this and my ultimate favorite one i love it so much is this one i put it in the frame already i really like it it's the first one i created horizontally and i love it i feel like there's so much movement so i think the next few ones that i'm going to create are going to be horizontal as well I like putting the ones I really prefer in a frame because I feel like you can really see the final result. You can envision it in your home. So I'm going to put it on my wall and maybe I'm going to sell it. But I love it so much. I would be sad to see it go. So if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I try to post art videos as often as I can, aiming for once a week, but it's not always doable. Um, yeah, so have a good day, a good evening, a good night, a great weekend, a great week, and I will see you later. Okay, take care. Bye.